All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over the elbow car. So the elbow is our first hinge joint, just like the knee it has flexion extension, but it also has rotation. And the elbow's ability to rotate is also gonna dictate a lot of our success in upper body exercises. So we wanna make sure that we have enough rotation for certain exercises, but also we wanna make sure that we're maintaining that by intentionally moving through that range of motion. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start off just one elbow. It's easier to learn when you're doing one, but eventually you can work doing both at the same time. Like with all of our cars, let's make sure that we start from a place of tension, okay? It doesn't have to be a lot, but it has to be enough that you feel like you're isolating that one part of your body. So I want you to think about contracting your body. You can take your right elbow, put it by your rib cage. It'll kind of block any accessory movement. You can take your left hand, put it by your ribs, okay? Or you can put it to your side, whatever you'd like. Let's start off with the extended elbow, okay? So we're gonna supinate out. And then I want you to think about flexing your elbow Try to find full flexion. Then pronate, so pronate around and then extend. Think about getting maximal extension as much as you can. Keep that pronation, now start to come up with flexion. Supinate over, find extension. Think about only rotating and flexion extending through that elbow as much as you can. Find supination again and then go into pronation as you come down. Okay, so that's just like the super basic version. Let's get into a couple quick compensations with that. One thing even, it's not quite a compensation, but it is a nuance in the elbow, is that when I rotate around, I like to make sure that I'm rotating around my finger, right? So, I, so when I go here from supination and I go to pronate, I wanna actually pronate around the finger. I don't wanna pronate in place because that's not true elbow rotation. You actually wanna see that flip happen. And, and then same thing when you're coming back the other way, you actually wanna see that you're, from pronation, you're going over into supination around that finger. The other thing is that you can actually exercise both rotation at, at flexion and extension. We just did flexion, but you can practice rotation at the bottom as well. It's just that most people will hyperextend and then they end up turning the shoulder, which is a compensation. So one of the things we don't wanna have happen is we don't want our shoulder to rotate, either externally or internally. So you wanna make sure that your, your bicep, if you had an X here, that X wouldn't move. So when you rotate, you're just rotating that forearm. The wrist, right? So when we go in there, we don't wanna make sure that the wrist isn't turning as well. The hand and the finger should stay in the same position. And these details, they seem minor, but again, with if our intention is just to isolate the joint, we wanna be as vigilant as we can to make sure we're not getting other stuff involved. Every joint's gonna get its opportunity to move, but you wanna make sure that when the joint gets its opportunity to move, it's the only joint that's moving. So now we've done the elbow, we're gonna finish off the arm, we're gonna go into the wrist. If you don't wanna miss this, I insist.